HR Party of One is brought to you by Bernie Portal. What is employee burnout? Have you ever felt mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausted from work? Maybe it has been a very draining week or month or even a year. Well, my friends, this is the definition of employee burnout, being overworked to the point of exhaustion in every sense of the word. And once burnout occurs, it can result in the employee no longer having the energy or capacity to complete their work. They may lose interest in doing their work and they may become mentally distant from their role in the company. Eventually, burnout can even lead to turnover and a negative workplace culture that can affect the business as a whole. What are common causes of burnout? Oftentimes, employee burnout can result from the way an organization operates. Are people tasked with too much work? Do they take enough time off? Here are some of the most common causes of employee burnout. Too much work. Having too much work is a sure way to reach burnout. When the workload piles up and the deadlines are around the corner, people often work extra hours. They have very little work-life balance and their overall quality of life can be severely impacted. This can lead to an employee becoming extremely overwhelmed and potentially shutting down, not taking time off when needed. It has become a cultural norm to overwork ourselves. People have adopted this concept that being the first in the office and the last to leave can lead to promotions and success. However, try doing this for a long period of time. Those promotions may come, but at what cost? People who spend excess time at work often miss out on time with their family, lose track of their physical and mental health, and more. Lack of purpose. If employees don't feel that their work is valuable or that they are impacting the organization in any way, burnout is more likely to occur since there will be a disconnect between their work and its purpose. Also, if employees don't have clarity regarding their own career path, it can be easier for them to approach levels of burnout. Micromanagement. Studies have shown the importance of autonomy at work related to one's well-being. When micromanaged, employees feel overwhelmed, untrusted, and demotivated. Lack of reward or recognition. Consistently working hard and not receiving any recognition for it can take a toll. Sometimes this can be related to compensation and other times it's simply receiving acknowledgement and assurance on the work you're performing. Lack of support. Feeling as though you're alone in your role without a proper support system can become overwhelming. If someone is being undermanaged, they may be conflicted about how they're doing, if they're doing enough, etc. If they have team members who are secluded in their own roles and don't offer any team support, this can also lead to the employee feeling isolated and overwhelmed. Signs of employee burnout. Here are some signs that an employee is approaching burnout. They are regularly working longer days outside typical working hours. There are errors in their work or a decline in work quality. They're missing deadlines. They're taking additional days off, often last minute. They become disengaged from work. The feedback coming from someone who is typically a vocal and engaged employee is negative or non-existent. Okay, so now that you know what employee burnout is and how it's caused, let's go over some ways you can help prevent it from occurring in the first place. Actually encourage work-life balance and enforce it. Many organizations will say they offer work-life balance or that they don't want their employees overworked, but then the workload piles up, the deadlines approach, and it becomes an impossibility. As leaders, make sure to encourage your people to take PTO, especially when you're noticing signs of burnout. If you have a PTO feature like Bernie Portals, you can easily check to see how many days that employee has taken off. You may notice a lot of PTO remaining and can encourage them to use it. Communicate. Talk to your people in your one-to-ones. Ask them if they're feeling overwhelmed at all. See if they need help. Are they overworked? Do they need some time off? Asking can go a long way and can help prevent burnout from occurring. Support. Support your employees. Some employees may want more feedback and reassurance than others, but understanding what they need can help them feel confident and valuable in their role. Last but not least, provide purpose. Give meaningful work assignments and get your employees to become proud of your company. If employees feel that their work is valuable and that they are an important part of a great company, they are less likely to experience burnout. 
That's it for this HR FAQ. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about our newest episodes, which are released every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, thanks for watching.